Hi, I'm Georgia Stitt. I'm the chair of the Copyright Advocacy Committee at the Dramatists Guild. Copyright is not a passive act. We all have to be responsible in protecting our copyright and understanding what it is and why it's important. Um, at the Dramatists Guild Committee, we talk a lot about how our responsibility to educate people about copyright is threefold. It's about educating the public as to why copyright matters, ownership of our work matters, and to educate ourselves, our membership, about what we can do to protect our work, and about um, educating about what the steps are to follow up when someone has infringed your copyright, how you can um, protect yourself uh, in the aftermath of that. But right now I'm going to talk to you about the second point, which is about how we can advocate and protect ourselves. Um, there are three things that you can do right off the bat. The first is when you are distributing copies of your work, whether they're script pages or sheet music of your songs, uh, or scores, um, you can watermark them. And uh, on the copyright page at the Dramatist Guild, there's a lot of information about different ways that you can do that. Uh, but I want to show you, uh, I music direct for a singer named Kate Baldwin. Uh, she starred in Andrew Lippo's musical Big Fish on Broadway. And when we do her concerts, she often sings a song from Big Fish. So she gave me the music that she had from the score. And it showed up looking like this. It says, Mary Mitchell. Mary Mitchell is the music director of that show. This is Kate's copy of the music. Uh, and so if I were going to photocopy this and give it to someone else, it would go back to Mary Mitchell and it would go back to Kate and it would go back to me and we would all be busted for <laughs> sharing illegal copies of music that we didn't have permission to be using. Um, so it just makes one step, it makes it one step harder for someone to um, illegally share your music. Nobody's going to upload that anonymously. Um, the second thing that you can do is set up a Google alert on your computer so that you get notifications when your music, you can set up the Google alert on your name or on the title of your project or the title of your song so that when there's activity on your piece out in the world, you get notified about it. That is uh, very helpful in terms of tracking uh, when people are sharing your music without permission or uh, uh, you know, uh, in ways that you, you had not expected and for you to, if necessary, be in touch with them about what's happening. And the third thing is when someone's looking for your music or your show, make it easy for them to find it. If it is legally published or legally licensable somewhere, uh, use your website or your social media or your publisher's information to make it easily found. One of the biggest problems that we find at the committee are uh, if somebody performs a song, puts it out on the internet, puts the performance out on the internet, and then people are like, I love that song, and they go searching for it and they can't find the sheet music, then they start looking for uh, the, the illegal places where they could download it or they transcribe it themselves and upload that and share it. And, um, but if you are intending ultimately to be able to profit from the work that you made, which is what copyright can allow you to do, then part of your responsibility is to make sure that that music can be found. Do everything you can to protect your work and um, it is the privilege of being an artist who owns copyright that it is yours to do with as you please. Thanks for paying attention.